You know what, ladies, we have to maintain ourselves, don't we? That includes our eyebrows. So what we need to know is how to shape them to match the face that we have. Here to help Christina Passanisi from Christina Studios, STL. Welcome back to Great Day. Hi, thanks for having me. This is, it, it should be simple, we think, but it's such a chore. It is, it is. Just keeping up with your eyebrows every day. I mean, a lot of people, their eyebrows grow really fast, mm -hmm. so they're tweezing and, and plucking every day. Um, so, you know, it's just basically wanting to maintain them, knowing how to do it um, without completely messing up the shape. Okay, not freaking out about it. Okay. <laughs> so we have uh, lots of pictures of people that are going to give you an example of the of the shape of their faces. You'll see one that looks like you. This is Linda Evangelista. This is a diamond shaped face. And right. what kind of eyebrows are best on that face well, shape? For Linda, um, it's a heavier brow in front, um, definitely a wider arch like what she has there. Her face is widest as the cheekbones, so you want to kind of offset that by making your eyebrows a little bit wider. Okay, and the heart shape, Ashley Judd, beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. What kind of eyebrows fit on the on that uh, shape? And that's not the best photo of right. your, <laughs> your eyebrows. <laughs> um, for Ashley Judd, her narrow chin and wider forehead. Um, you definitely want to lengthen the brows as long as you can make them on on the sides. Okay, so past the end of your eye. Right. Okay. Right. Okay, and then a square face, uh, Jimmy Moore has a square face, and a lot of people do. Right, right, right. right. It's a more square forehead, square jaw. Um, with her, you'll not want to do too high of an arch. She has more of um, a tapered down, That's more true. straight mm -hmm. across arch, um, brings down the forehead. They're thicker than a lot of people, they too. Are. Is that, yeah. And thicker is more popular these days. Okay, now let's go to Kate Winslet, who has a round face. Okay. For Kate, um, definitely a fuller eyebrow. Um, for her round face, uh, definitely want to lengthen and do a little bit of higher arch um, outside of where the pupil area meets. And her eyebrows are dark. Yeah, they are dark. And it's okay, too, to have a couple shades darker of an eyebrow these days. Okay, the oval uh, shape is next. And we found that on Tyra Banks, right. who has an oval shape. For Tyra, she has a very tall forehead. Um, mm -hmm. And so a very thick brow is going to really help to offset the length of the forehead. And so a lot of people, whatever the shape of your face, may have a right. big forehead. So exactly. you have to, whatever your shape face is, that would you have to focus on? Right. Just you want to maintain um, the fullness of your eyebrows as much as possible. Getting them too thin starts to completely change the look of your face. Okay. You see a lot of people with really thin eyebrows. It's just not working on you most. <laughs> it's most, not. Okay. I think most people it doesn't work. Okay. Oblong Stephanie Seymour uh, is the, the, the um, shape that we found on her face. Yes. Um, for an oblong face, she's got more of a long, slender face. You want to do a wider arch. For her, a little bit of a thinner brow on the ends would benefit the shape of her face. Okay. Now, w when you're maintaining your eyebrows, you go to the, most people go, a lot of people go, I should say, but in between those appointments, if you do go, are we just plucking to keep them together? Well, you can tweeze a little bit, and I would definitely ask your um, professional for a little bit of advice on how to keep up the shape. But it's great to go at least to get them done every three to four weeks just to have a shape okay. there to go by. And then, uh, obviously, you can maintain them at home. I never used um, any kind of pencil in my eyebrows until I started doing Great Day. Right. And, and, and that's something that is a, a standard, really. It fills it in. It is, right. Um, my personal favorite is using a brow powder because it doesn't contain any wax like pencils do, so it won't melt on the skin throughout the day and then move. Um, the brow powders are great. They're very soft and natural, and they come in various colors. Okay, and then this is a pencil, but it's more than that. It is, definitely. This is a great one. Um, it comes with a brow tinted gel, and that will keep all the hairs in place. It's great to cover up grays, um, and then it also comes with a little bit of a pencil for some definition. And that is by who? That's Revlon. Revlon yeah. Colors Day, yeah. Uh, I found a gray hair <laughs> in my eyebrow, and no one in my family told me that gray hair would come in there. That's a whole nother show. Yes, and, yes. And between, <laughs> between waxing, plucking, and the razor, what do you prefer? Definitely not the razor. Um, I just it gets feel like the, it gets a really good shape. It does, and it's great for temporarily, but it really your hair is going to come back the very next day because it's just been cut off at the surface. Mm -hmm. um, tweezing is definitely the best way. Waxing Ow. is wonderful, but a lot of people, you know, like you had said, do have some sort of reactions occasionally. Um, my personal favorite is doing, um, you know, a permanent makeup solution mm -hmm. so that you know you don't really have to do too much maintenance. And you have that, and you said it lasts. I do ten years. Ten to fifteen. Years, Her yeah. eyebrows, she does have the yeah. brows are there, but they've just right, they've been filled in permanently. Okay. So, yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> yeah, you're gorgeous. <laughs> thank you, Christina. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, Matt, you have more of a oval. Yes. You're putting it very politely. <laughs> thank you. In the back of her head, she's like, sausage head, beach ball.
<laughs> doesn't your, <laughs> changing gears, doesn't your favorite meal seem to taste a little bit better when you know that the products are actually grown locally? It is so true. Next on Great Day St. Louis, Chef Todd Lowe shows us a few things that we can do with all those yummy items that are coming to our local farmer's market very soon. And it's Improvement Week, Self-Improvement Week, Personal Improvement Week here on Great Day St. Louis. We'll show you a few easy ways to spruce up your own bathroom. And don't forget to enter the Great Day Photo Contest brought to you by Creve Core Camera. Here's what we'd like you to do. Send us a picture that shows your undying devotion to the Redbirds. Could be you, could be your family or your friends. The winner is going to receive a $25 gift card to Creve Core Camera. We're going to feature that picture on this Friday's Great Day St. Louis. So the deadline to enter is this Thursday. Check out the complete rules when you get a chance. They're on our website.